Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The question says, what makes betting haram? Is it the money and financial aspect of it, or the game of chance and probability? Uh, the first point is that betting is not a mu'awara, it's not barter. There isn't an exchange between two parties of two things with the intention of transferring the ownership of each exchange or of the two exchange items. The cost of timlik. That isn't present in betting. You give money, and if you're a fighter that you bet on wins, only then will you get whatever uh, you're supposed to get. And if he doesn't win, then you don't get anything, you lose everything. That's not mu'awala. That is not mu'awala. So that's the first point. The second point, um, there's no effort. When you bet on a fighter, like a UFC fighter to win, you're not making any money, you're not making any effort. You're not the one fighting, you're not the one doing anything. All you're doing is paying money. And if that fighter wins, you get money back. If the fighter loses, you lose that money. So, and so it's a form of eating the wealth of other people yeah, with falsehood, in falsehood. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited this. Uh, and uh, the third reason, which is mentioned explicitly in the Quran, is that it builds enmity and hatred between mankind. And we see this If you go to Las Vegas Or you go to the places where The gambling capitals of the world This is rife Murders Murder for hire A lot of cases of murder for hire Happen because of It starts off as something related to gambling And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran إِنَّمَا يُلِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُقِعَ بِنُكُمْ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ فِي الْخَمْرِ وَالْمَيْسِرِ وَيَصُدَّكُمْ عَنْ ذِكِرِ اللَّهِ وَعَنِ الصَّلَاةِ فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ Prevent the person from remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal and from the from the prayer. And so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala prohibited betting. And these are some of the uh, reasons that have been given. Allah Alam.